at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. Jackson was able to take the lead back on that one at 37 down. Moving on to hole number one. Downhill putt there, but should be all right. Matt lining up a backhand. A little skip. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wish we could offer more. I gotta think that Matt's running this one. Yeah. It's not too much danger on this. He's actually a little further out than what it looks on camera because it's downhill. <clears throat> he knew right out of his hand. Matt tapping in for a par. And now Dickerson's ready to go. Broke lead. Going into hole two, 327 foot par four. Matt Bell. Going with backhand Anheuser around the outside. Nope, he got the inside. Man, great <laughs> shot. These, <laughs> these are all really good. It is right there next to the basket. Oh. Oh. A bit of a hyzer putt in a lot of the field. Looks like Logan. No, I'm sorry, two stroke swing. Carter has jumped up to 38. It's very thick on the left side there. Very wood. Just there's an opening at the end, mm -hmm. but that's it. You pretty much have to hit that line and hope for some skip back out towards the basket. You know, Matt. Matt looking great with that shot. Nice. Absolutely parks it. Glad to see. And Matt carding the birdie. Finish out the round here. And the second round was at Panther Creek. The newest. Be careful on this hole because you can catch an edge and roll down, and you could end up in hole eights. Fairway. You definitely don't want to be down there. Mm -mm. Here we've got Latitude 64 sponsored Matt Bell. Playing the skip shot. It's a great shot. Maybe a little bit wider than he wanted. Nice birdie put there. Yeah, these uh, these holes are more short. Technical wooded holes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Bell's gonna do the same. But with the lead at 27 down, moving on to hole five. It's 300 and Logan. He made it work out. That Bell makes it over the tree. Looks like everybody's pretty much parked. Matt looking to tap in for a birdie. No problem. This is a shot that if... R, which ties Chris and Logan up at 27 down. Moving on to... Or low branches. And they're thrown high. Sorry about that. The problem is, is that there's a, a bunch of trees to the right that pretty much get right in the perfect angle. If they weren't there, you can hit the perfect uh, danger on the other side of that. You can roll down into that sinkhole. Matt tapping in his park job. And Dickerson are still tied at the top. But hopefully he can make that putt. Walk away with the two. This is a hole that's uh, it's a good one to get. It's a good two to get, especially if you're an amateur out here playing this. Uh, if you get a two on this one, you, you feel Matt's got a pretty far jump putt. Ooh. Mm. He went for it though. Definitely. Bell looking to tap in for a par and walk. Oh. Ooh. Is my bad. Mm. Colin walked away with a birdie. I wish I'd have got that better on camera. That's a good birdie to get right there. Lead from Bowers. We're going on to hole eight here, 333 feet. Mm. You got caught up on the right side. It's not a good place to be. It's not, but Logan, uh, from playing with him and seeing a lot of coverage of him, uh, he's very scrappy, so he should be able to get up and down with no problem. Oh, if he misses that tree, that's a great line to the basket. Bell running it for a two. 
Man. He's not he's not afraid of that hill. <laughs> now this one's labeled as a par four and mm -hmm. bail for a three. I know it doesn't feel like it's gonna be a birdie, but the scorecard says it is, so take them when you can get them, right? <clears throat> I definitely do. <laughs> He's 31 down and Bowers is 29 down. Not exactly sure what's going on with you. Thanks, Corey, dude. Really appreciate it. Corey, dude. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, like we were saying, if you do get a kick off these trees, it's usually bad mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Do there. Yeah. You'll see when you get up to there to where Dutch is, uh, it looked a lot closer from that angle then it uh, looks like Matt and Dutch are going to be doing the same thing. You can tell this round's starting to get to Matt a little bit. He uh, at 32 down, uh, Bowers at 30. Moving on to hole, turns a 224 foot hole into about a 180 foot hole I would say. Yeah. <clears throat> Bell going with the flick as well. There you go. It's a good shot. He's got a putt. Good. You know, kind of a death putt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you miss that, you can go down that little uh, for such short hole. Yeah. You just It's like I said, it's a technical. That's what you really, that's the best shot if you're a right-hand player is a anti-flex forehand. Mm -hmm. I just can't do it right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Colin did it right, right there. Matt's going with the hyzer. A lot of stuff to deal with on the right side over that uh, button. It, it will be for three. Is Matt looking to hopefully get a two here? Mm. Mm. Hit the chain that fell out. He's getting old. Looks like everybody's cleaning up here. Mm -hmm. Matt's going to tap in for a three after that unfortunate spit out. He doesn't look too pleased. Mm. Dickerson's still ahead by two. And moving on to hole number 12. Another good shot from Colin Carter. Matt looks like he's lining up with another flick. A high flare there. Mm. That one dead tree right there gets me almost every time being Does back in left. A bit of a gallery starting to show up on this third round. This is the lead card, so uh, it's kind of cool to see so many people following on uh, the third round. Mm. Mm. I don't want to go too far past this basket. Matt's going to tap in here for his par. Just a few behind him with 32 down. Good, because he landed a little further out than he wanted, but he got a little bit of forward skip. I got Latitude 64 sponsored Matt Bell here. I think playing out of Texas, right? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe California? Maybe, I'm not sure. Matt gets, catches an Sorry about that. Nice, soft little Anheuser putt there. Looks like he landed right beside the basket. Definitely had a shot. Matt with a great putt. There you go. He needed that. Mm -hmm. That's a great one. And Carter, I'm sorry, Bowers at 32 and Carter at 31 down. And I can tell you right now, a few inches to the left and that one was in the basket. Oh, yeah. Matt taking Chris's line. Very yeah. nice. Matt Bell for birdie. Matt. Oh, yes. Very it's, good, but. It's nice to see. Must get. Now, this one, hole 15, I got to apologize for some camera issues. Uh, this one's marked as a par four as well. Got Matt Bell here on the tee. Uh, even though it's marked as a par four, it's only 305 feet, so uh, these guys are looking to get a two here. Look like he pretty early. Uh, will be carded as an eagle if he can make that putt. Mm. 
I didn't see if he did he hit. <laughs> That's some pretty long putts though. So if they, you know, it'd been something else if they would have made them. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. There you go, Matt. Great yeah. putt. Matt's got two birdies in a row, so it looks like he's trying to turn this round. Birdies and one eagle on that. Moving on to hole 16, 254. Matt Bell looking to do the same. Very soft. Nice. He went down on the right side a little bit, but as you can see, if you saw from the Matt looking for a deuce. Nice. Three in a row, so. so laying down for this round. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got through or not. Looks like Matt Bell going with the same kind of shot. Basically, you want to aim kind of at those, uh, if you want to go on the high route, you can uh, aim for those dead limbs right up there, you can see. That's looking like a great shot. This is Matt for two. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can keep the street going. Oh! oh. Huh. We got a tie up top at 35 down between Logan and Chris. There, and he's sitting maybe about 45, 50 feet out. Matt's lining up the backhand. He's in the up with a while. Yeah. Let's see what Matt can do here. Said 2016 putting world champion. Oh. Good birdie from Colin. And another one from Matt Bell. I know these guys probably don't feel like this is. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog. Give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.